you start um, cutting out carbohydrates from your diet, indeed what happened to this study where it goes from an average, you know, the average person's eating about 50 to 60% of their calories from carbohydrate. When you go to a low carbohydrate diet, you're cutting that down to a fifth or a sixth or, you know, a tenth of the amount of calories. So in this study in particular, they went from about 50% of their calories from carbs down to 8%, so, which is pretty typical um, when you adhere to a low carb diet. Of course, if you start putting less glucose into the system, uh, the body starts making more. There are these natural counter-regulatory mechanisms, which is why glucose levels stay normal. If you take someone who has normal glucose and they adopt a low-carb diet, their glucose will stay normal. It'll continue to hover around 80 milligrams per deciliter. It stays normal because the liver begins making more glucose to make up for the lack of glucose coming in. Now this is relevant to cortisol because there are a small little cluster of hormones that will stimulate the liver to turn on this release of glucose. Growth hormone will do some of this, uh, cortisol will and epinephrine will, and glucagon. Those are really the main four that are gonna be stimulating the liver to make more glucose. And of course, there's a reason for that when that happens. So there is a lot of um, suspicion that if you adopt a low carb diet, one of the ways you're keeping your glucose normal is because the cortisol is coming in and it's pushing the, the liver to continue to make glucose. Now, the glucose uh, maintenance effect of cortisol is only one. In fact, it's maybe the most benign. Cortisol is a hormone that can, it'll basically destroy everything in order to increase glucose, including stripping proteins from things like your muscles and your bones to get those amino acids, to send those amino acids to the liver, and then tell the liver to convert those amino acids into more glucose. Um, in addition to reducing the immune system as well uh, and changing the way the body stores fat, suffice it to say, cortisol is a hormone we do not want elevated for very long. So it's reasonable to be concerned. Is a low-carb diet going to spike my cortisol? Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.